Good evening. No, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, Emperatriz. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. And you? Ah, I am good. Excellent. Pretty good. Yo diciendo good evening. Eso es con el turno de la noche, dígame. Yo dije, bueno, nos confundió de grupo. No, así me pasa también en la noche. Good afternoon. Los quiere más a ellos. No, te pasa con ambos. Ay, a saber no. si ya está anteriormente con ellos, pero les tiene más cariñito. No, no. Yo a todos los quiero porque sé que todos se esfuerzan. Eso sí, mire. Lo intentamos hasta más no poder. Sí, está muy bien. La verdad es que yo ya les he comentado, creo que ustedes tal vez no, pero este idioma es tan bonito que aunque cueste un poquito, siempre es bueno poner ese empeño. Sí. Es bonito y necesario. Claro, eso más que todo. <risa> exactly. <risa> Ay, ok. Emperatriz, okay. thank you so much for being in your class. Welcome, Mary. How are you? Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty good, and you? Pretty good to you. Excellent, really good. Let me see. Hi, Karen. How are you? Good afternoon. I miss good afternoon. How are you, Karen? I'm fine. Excellent, really good. Deberían de estar contentas. Ya es su última clase de la semana, right? Todavía nos falta una semana y media, pero ya esta es la última de la semana. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. Let me see, Anita. Hi, Anita. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm pretty good. Happy to see you. Welcome back. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, everybody. Let's get started. So today we're going to see really important topics, let me tell you, right? Today we're going to have simple past today we're going to study simple past all right which is pretty amazing because now you have another tense Ahora ya vamos con otro tiempo gramatical. so we are in class number 10 let's see let's see if we remember this vocabulary let me ask just two students let me see karen tell me the vocabulary Dígame el vocabulary Karen Heyman, ¿verdad? Exactly. <laughs> um, stand in line, do laundry, tra travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. That's correct. Excellent. Really good. Let's check just one more student and we are going to move on. Let me see, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Mm -hmm. I'm excellent. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I stand in line. Uh, do uh, la segunda in no es no le pronunciation teacher okay aquí vamos do laundry uh -huh. do laundry mm -hmm. travel to work go to meeting exercise work in the yard clean the house open the mail that's correct excellent thank you all right girls now let's move on Yesterday, I show you these guiding examples, all right? And you work on your own examples. So let me check. Let's see. Pasó Anita, right, Anita? Usted participó ayer en sus sentences. Si me las dijo. Yeah. ¿Quién más pasó? Pasó Mary, creo yo. Y Karen, si no me equivoco. Me, teacher. Okay. Usted también pasó, Gloria, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Pretty good. Entonces, ahí va, check. <laughs> Let's see. Vamos a ver a las que nos faltan ahora. Vamos a ver cómo están estas sentences. Let's see. Vanessa Leiva. Let's see, Vanessa. Tell me your sentences, please. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Vanessa. Welcome Hi. back. Thank you. <laughs> 
Um, number one, I have to start in line the bank to change a check. It's true. Uh, two, I don't have to work in the garden because I do not have space in my hall for a garden. Excellent, very good. <laughs> Very good. E, number three, uh -huh. I don't have ex exercise because there is no gym near. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Very good, excellent. Oh, sure. <laughs> Qué buena excusa tiene <laughs> para no ejercitarse. Let's see, let me go with Mary. Okay, Mary, tell me your sentences. I don't have to go exercise at park because I do I doing a house. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go with number two. I don't I don't have travel to work because I work online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's correct. The same as me, Mary. <laughs> that's correct. Very good. Excellent. And let me see somebody else. What about Natalia? I think that Natalia, you didn't pass yesterday, right? Let's check. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you, Natalia? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good. I'm happy to see you in class. All right, so let's see, Natalia. Tell me your sentences. Okay. Um, standing light in the ISSS, I had. Um, I don't have to go travel to work by bus. No están en orden. Okay, <laughs> don't worry, no se preocupe. Uh -huh. Okay, I had, I had to go meeting because um, are so boring or because they are boring? Because they are boring. Okay. Um, wearing jar is very hard. Every morning in the world, he open the mail. Uh, this, weekend, this weekend, I will exercise um, only, only. Very good. En esa última puede decir, I have to exercise this weekend, right? I have. Mm -hmm. I, I have. have. Okay. Exercises. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. There you go. Very good. Thank you. All right, everybody. So excellent. I think that Emperatriz, did you pass yesterday? ¿Usted pasó ayer? Or no? Ah, okay. Let me escribe. So let's continue. Let me see. Karen Martinez, did you pass yesterday? Usted pasó, Karen, ayer. Hi, teacher. No. Um, number one, I have to clean my the house because my mother in law is coming. Ah, okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. Number two, I have to start in line. Outside the bank to pay my bill. To pay my bills, uh huh. I don't have to go travel by bus because my work is close to the to my house. Ah, okay, excellent. So let's attend. Okay. Una más. Okay, yes. I don't have to work in the garden because I don't have work. Because I don't have? A home. Uh, no tengo. Ah, because I don't have. Oh, okay. Exactly, excellent, very good. Karen, ¿me puede repetir? Disculpe la número tres. Quiero chequear algo. Uh, okay, I don't have to go to travel the bus, bus because my world is close to my home. All right. So I don't need to travel in bus because I'm close to my work. Exactly. Vamos a ver aquí. I don't have 
to travel by bus. Okay. Así le quedaría mejor la sentence, right? Okay. Para no repetir dos verbos, right? Go and travel, para no tener dos. Okay. I don't have to travel by bus. Okay. Uh, because my work is close to my, my house. All right, excellent. También puede decir is near home. Is near okay. home. Está cerca de casa. All right. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Karen. Very good. Me gusta que hizo más de un example. Excellent. Very good, girls. All right. So let's move on to the interesting part. Let's get into the business. <laughs> okay. Very good practice, y'all. I hope this was helpful for you because you have to write down some sentences, I think so, in the platform, right? So let's check this out. We have simple past statements with regular verbs. So let's see. Conversation, I didn't study, right? So let's check. Let me pronounce first, right, the conversation. And then as per usual, I will ask you to practice, right? So let's see. Hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shop. And then I visit my parents. So what did you so what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, uh, I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Right? So there you go. Ya podemos presentir ese final, ¿verdad? <laughs> Después de no haber estudiado en ese midterm, ya sabemos lo que viene. So, let's check. Let's go with you guys, right? No se preocupen ahorita mucho por la pronunciation del past, porque todavía no han visto ese video. A no ser que ya vayan adelante, right? Vamos a intentar ahorita con esta conversation. Después vamos a darle play a un video que nos va a explicar más de eso. De hecho, antes de ir al video, tenemos otra información aquí. Okay. Meanwhile, vamos con esta conversation. Let's see. I will have Anita. Anita, you are Michael and Karen Heyman, you are Jennifer. Action. Presentía que me iba a decir a mí. Es un buen match con Anita. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a bushy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning in my room and I clean it, the laundry and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test and day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched the television all weekend. All right. Excellent, girls. Very good job. Thank you. Qué milagro, Anita, no estudió para un test. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So let's check this one. Let's go with the next one. Maria Siguenza, you are Michael. And Natalia Guevara, you are Jennifer. Action. Oh, your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a gossy weekend and I feel a little 
tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my, room, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopping, and, and then I visited my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I study for the day. Oh no, do we have test today? I, I did study to watch television all, all weekend. All right, excellent girls. Very good job. Thank you. So let me go with the next one. This is como warming up para ustedes ahorita, right? So let's see. Let's go with Lady Ventura. Lady, you are Jennifer. And Vanessa Leva, you are Michael. Actually. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a, a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I had Sarsa in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned it, did laundry and shopping. And then I, visit, I visited my parents. So what did, do, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Excellent, thank you girls, all right. Thank you, this conversation is really funny. <laughs> all right, let me go with Gloria Mena. Gloria, you are Michael and let me see. Karen Martinez, if you can, si puede, usted sería Jennifer, okay? Hey, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a dusty weekend and I feel a little bit today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I'm exercise in the morning. Then my uh, roomie and a cleaning, cleaning, did laundry and shopping. And the, I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television or weekend. Excellent, thank you so much, very good. Now let's check, am I missing somebody? Yes, I'm missing Isis Reyes. Isis, you are Michael and we have a classmate, Patty. Okay, Patty, you are Jennifer, action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? All right. Let's wait for Patty. If not, let me see. Any volunteer that would like to be Jennifer? Me. Excelente, Emperatriz, there you go. No le había dicho Emperatriz porque me puso que no podía, right? <laughs> que tenía una llamada. Okay, yeah. so you are Jennifer. Action. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a, a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little excited today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and the shopper. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Saturday, on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, just watch it. Television at weekend. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Isis and Emperatriz. All right, girls. 
this conversation was in simple past, right? That's why you notice that the verbs were kind of difficult to pronounce, right? And it's understandable, right? Do not worry. We're going to watch the video. But first, I just want to mention this. This word, I had a busy, right? Busy, significa ocupado, right? I had a busy weekend, okay? And let's move on to the next one. Let's see what do we have. I'm going to share with you the video specifically in that part, right? Let me go with you. Okay. Let's go with this one. Please pay attention. Don't worry because after video, we're going to practice once again. I watch. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ED. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ED. On a different class, We'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject, I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we'll put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject, you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement, television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present. Uh, listen, uh, do not worry. Right now, just pay attention because after this video, I have the formulas, all right? Yo les tengo las estructuras para que ustedes se tomen su tiempo. Ahorita solo escuchemos, basically, eh, la pronunciation que él nos va dando, okay? Here we go. Present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb. Didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Study. Finally, we will add the complement. Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Watch. Finally, we will add the complement a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive. Okay. Now let's change to the PPT. Let's see. 
how are we going to practice this? Let's pay attention. Don't worry, I told you that I have the structures on here, right? So don't worry. We have simple past statements, regular verbs. I studied, I studied on Sunday. I watched, I watched television. She stayed, she stayed home. We shopped, we shopped for groceries. They exercised, they exercised on Saturday. All right. Maybe for you the most difficult are going to be are going to be these ones because they change their pronunciation, right? At least the last letters. Let's go to the negative. Esto si quiero que quede bien claro, esto es afirmativo, right? O lo que también llamamos como positivo. And then let's go to the negative. I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. Nota la diferencia? Watched. Aquí, watched. You didn't watch, right? Watched, watched, watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't shop for clothes. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Notemos aquí, exercised, exercised, all right? Y aquí no, aquí solo decimos didn't exercise, all right? No vamos a cambiar este verb, ya lo van a notar ustedes en las structure. Is the didn't it's equal to did not, all right? Esto es equivalente al did not. Esa es la forma larga. El didn't es la forma corta, all right? Y luego tenemos el spelling. Lady, ¿tiene una consulta? Yes. Uh -huh. um, in this case, when using the affirmative sentence in the past, don't use the auxiliary verb do and pass. No. Only, <laughs> only use in past. A negative sentence? That's correct, my friend. It's like in simple present. Si se recuerdan ustedes en simple present, no utilizábamos el auxiliar para dar, sí para contestar, pero no para hacer oraciones, right? Sino que lo utilizábamos solo en preguntas, los auxiliares, y para forma negativa. Right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. Entonces lo mismo aplica aquí, all right? Para mi forma positiva o afirmativa, no necesito el auxiliary. Más bien, tengo que conocer los verbos en pasado. Y aquí es donde vamos a empezar a practicar, girls, all right? Poco a poco ustedes van a ir adquiriendo más verbos. Si ustedes también pueden buscar listas de verbos, pues bienvenido, right? Pero con el tiempo durante las clases, ya habrán notado desde el level one que ustedes vienen adquiriendo diferentes verbos, right? Y esos verbos son los que vamos a ir conociendo cómo se van cambiando para la forma pasada. En este caso, repito, en afirmativo, you don't need to change, you don't need to add an auxiliary. No necesitamos nuestro auxiliar porque mi verbo va a ejercer la acción, right? Él lleva toda la carga. Ya en el negative, ahí sí, necesito un auxiliary. ¿Y qué cambia? Que ya que tengo mi auxiliary, el siguiente verbo, it's not gonna change. It won't change. It doesn't need it, right? Because it has its own auxiliary, right? Ya con las structures, van a ver qué bonito se entiende un poco mejor esto, right? Aquí porque tenemos plasmado el, los guiding examples, pero ya con las, con las estructuras, lo van a ver. Es más fácil. Okay, let me check. ¿Quieren practicar con esto primero o, los, o nos movemos a las estructuras? You decide. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, what do you say Spanish um, number four um, the la oración which, cuatro we shopping uh -huh. we shopped for grocery uh -huh. exactly fuimos de compras for groceries son todo lo que nosotros consumimos de pan right en vez de decir bakery decimos groceries right ya sea pan dulce pan francés Right? Things like that. También groceries equivale a las compras que hacemos para la casa cuando vamos a los supermarkets. Right? So, okay. shopped es compramos. Right? Shopped, compramos. 
So there you go, girls. Entonces, ¿me paso a las structures o quieren practicar con esto ya? You decide. Practiquemos. Excellent. Very good. There you go. Okay. So let's get started. Let me see. Let's just start with Vanessa Leiva. Vanessa, you are affirmative in Natalia. You are negative. Action. Okay. I studied on Sunday. You watch it television. Oh, let's go one and one. Vamos una y una, Vanessa. I'm sorry. Ah, okay, okay, perdón. Okay, let's go. Okay, I didn't study on Saturday. You watch a television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. clothes. They, they exercised on Saturday. They didn't exer exercise on Sunday. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Listen, no, no se preocupen si ahorita ustedes me dicen teacher, todavía la pronunciation no, right? Porque hay un video. Tienen un video en el cual si está bien explícito, ¿cuándo es que vamos a cambiar la pronunciación? Porque tenemos pronunciaciones con T, aunque terminan así, right? Tenemos pronunciaciones con T, como en el caso de esta, watched, watched, right? Y tenemos pronunciaciones con ED, como studied, studied, right? Y tenemos una pronunciación solo con D. So take it easy, right? Calm down. Very good, girls. Thank you. Let me go with... Isis Reyes, you are affirmative, and Anita, you are negative. Action. Okay. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed on home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Maria Siguenza. You are negative. And Karen Heyman, you are affirmative. Action. Usted comienza, Karen. Usted es afirmativo. Ok. I'm studying on Sunday. I didn't study on Sunday. Saturday. You, wa you watch television. She didn't watch a movie. She's... Esa no la sé pronunciar, Miss. Let's go. She stayed... She stayed home. Thank you, Miss. She didn't stay out. We shopping for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Saturday. All right, excellent. Aquí, Karen, uh, we shopped, right? Shop. Uh -huh. Exactly. Eso es lo que les digo, este, en estos Mis, verbs. Esa, Ajá. De eso sí, siempre he tenido esa duda, como que si en el inglés hay como una regla o algo para saber, por ejemplo, si uno no sabe una palabra, este, si hay alguna regla para seguirla, para, seguir, para poderla pronunciar. Yes, honey, qué bueno que lo mencionó, claro que sí, lo vamos a ver, por aquí tengo el, el, la picture también. <ríe> es que me quería preparar el material para irlo desarrollando poco a poco, porque este tema, aunque puede ser un poco fácil para comprender, ya la pronunciation es la donde se vuelve difícil, right? O tratar de cambiar cuándo voy a cambiar el verb, cuándo no. Así que sí, Karen, sí tiene reglas, right? Uy, 
Okay. Let's move on. Ya las vamos a ver, Karen. Let's see, lady. You are affirmative in Gloria Mena. You are negative. Action. I started on Saturday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television? You didn't watch a movie. He stayed home. She didn't stay work. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Excellent. Very good. There you mm -hmm. go. Thank you. Y fíjense mm -hmm. que eh, quiero comentarles algo. Un día estaba viendo, I was watching a video, all right? And the girl was talking about something that is happening nowadays, all right? So many people that they are not native speakers, muchos, muchas personas que no son native speakers, que no son nativos del hablante, right? Del idioma, no son hablantes nativos del idioma. A veces se nos puede olvidar estos verbs, right? Como cambiarlo a la forma pasada, pero nosotros queremos decirlo en pasado. Entonces ella mencionó que una opción que gramaticalmente no está correcta, pero si queremos que la persona nos entienda, es utilizar el did, right? I did a study on Sunday, right? ¿Por qué decimos que gramaticalmente no está correcta? Porque nos, ahí estamos haciendo doble énfasis en algo, right? Casi como un, impera, como un imperative. I did a study on Sunday, right? Entonces, mm -hmm. lo correcto sería I studied on Sunday. Pero, como los errores pasan, right? Y eso es imposible que no nos pase. De hecho, de eso se aprende cuando es un idioma. Entonces, podemos utilizar ese auxiliary si queremos dar a entender el, el pasado, right? Quería comentar eso por si un día ustedes escuchan que alguien les dice eso. You can accept that, right? Podemos aceptarlo y sabemos que la persona quiere transmitirlo en pasado. So, let's move on with the last pair. I think it's going to be... You see, Emperatriz, you haven't passed, right? Usted todavía no ha pasado, Emperatriz. No, and you are going to work with Karen Martinez. Emperatriz, you are affirmative. Karen, you are negative. On Sunday. No sé, creo que le falla un poquito el audio, Emperatriz. Okay, I stay on Sunday. Listen me. Listen me. Yes, I can hear you now. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Sunday. On you. Saturday. You watch television. You you didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't study out. We shop for groceries. We didn't shop for cluster. Cluster. They, they exercise Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Right, that's correct. Thank you so much, girls. Very good. All right, let's check the following information, all right? Para tener un poquito más de claridad en este tema, nos vamos con estas structures, all right? There you go. We have subject plus verb in past tense, right? Verb in past tense plus complement, right? This is like the basic, like the top of the base, right? This is for affirmative. You only need your subject, you only need your verb in past, and then you go with your complement. Okay? You may take notes as well if you want. Pueden tomar notas si lo desean, right?
Let me know when you're finished so that I move on. Finish. So let's go on over here. My sister talked. Listen, my sister talked to my mother yesterday. We walked, we walked on the park this morning. I ate, I ate vegetables for lunch. I ate vegetables for lunch, right? Take notes if you want. Pueden tomar de estos verbos, ya con estos tres verbos. Y los otros cuatro, cinco, seis, all right? Ya tenemos como ocho verbs in here que vamos a utilizar al momento de practicar. Si ustedes tienen otros, también los pueden utilizar, right? So, let me ask you how to pronounce this. Voy a volver a decir estos verbs. Let's pay attention y después les voy a pedir a ustedes que las lean. Talked. Talked. Walked. Walked. Recuerdan que ayer les mencionaba que la L no la pronunciamos, right? Con esta palabra, con walk. No decimos walk. Uno es más difícil y dos la, ellos no lo permiten. So we say walked. Walked. And then you have eight. Eight. Right? So let's go. Let me check. Mm, Anita, can you please read example number one? Only number one. Yes, please. Okay. My sister talk talk to me talk. Talk. Uh -huh. talk. My sister talk to me, my mother yesterday. That's correct. Excellent. There you go. Let's go with Maria Siwenza, number two. Walked. Walk on park Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with number three. Natalia Guevara, please. Eight. I ate vegetables for lunch. Exactly. That's correct. I ate vegetables for lunch. Very good, right? Mentira, ni almorzado. <laughs> okay, so let's go. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita, girls? Let's check this out. Let's practice. Let's see. Gloria Mena, can you please read the instructions? Your microphone. Excuse me. Let's practice. Number one, word individual. Two, create a list to sentence using the simple past in affirmative. Three, share your sentence with the class. Excellent, very good, thank you. You know what, vamos a hacer una cosa, right? Como quizás ahorita no tenemos tantísimos verbos, pueden utilizar, reutilizar los que ya vimos, pero cambienles el subject, right? Podemos utilizar, eh, ah, algo que les quiero decir, en tercera persona no cambia, right? Tercera persona no cambia, sigue siendo el mismo. So, podemos utilizar, si ustedes se fijan aquí, en el simple present, en la tercera persona sí cambiaba, right? Se ponía con S o IS, cambiaba, pero aquí no, esa es la ventaja. No tienen que estar pensando en cambiarle, porque ya lo trae el, el verb, right? En la tercera persona. So, pueden tomar otros subjects. Si ustedes gustan, agarren de estos verbs, pero tomen otros subjects, right? Y creamos las sentencias. Solamente dos. If you have questions, you can ask me, okay? If you need help, also, you can tell me.
By the way, ahorita solo estamos con afirmativo, right? Solo estamos con afirmativo. Teacher, how many? ¿Cuántos? Only two. Okay. Yes. I finished teacher. Excellent, very good. Thank you. Finish. Would you like to tell me your sentences, Anita? Let's check them out. Okay. I listen, I listen to the music. Mm -hmm. I should drink, drink a little soda. Ah, okay. Ahí mm. sería drunk. El pasado. Drunk. Uh, drunk. Okay. Ese ya es un irregular verb. Ahí ya cambia. Ah, Pero esos eso okay. son otros, right? Ok. I drank. Uh -huh. Drunk. Ok, finish. Ok, excellent. Very good. There you go. Excellent. Somebody else, cuando vayan terminando, háganme saber para no hacerlas esperar, right? Finish. Excellent, lady. Tell me yours. We ate pizza for dinner. Mm -hmm. My husband talked to my brother yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Ya ve, lady. Ya va dando ahí la pronunciation. Very good. Let's see. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Let me see. Mary. Maria, right? Yes. Okay. Let me know. My mom went to bar on Saturday. My mom, my mom, what? Went to bar on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Went very good. Uh, next, my son reads a scary book. Mary, si gusta, acérquese un poquito más a la bocina porque no la escucho. No sé si solo soy yo o, o de verdad no se le escucha. My son reads a scary book. Ah, ok, yeah. Read, right? Red. En pasado, read, red. Right? There you go. Thank you, Mary. Let's see. Somebody else? Alguien más? Emperatriz. Ajá, let's check. Uh, my co workers ate cross meat. Mm -hmm. Uh, my husband didn't like to walk. Uh -huh. All right. Ay, ya me agarro el negativo. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Emperatriz. It's correct. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see what about Vanessa Leiva. Vanessa, ahorita está atendiendo a alguien. Ah, okay. Thank you, Emperatriz. Thank you. Let's see, Natalia. Qué bueno. Okay. I watch television on weekend. My sister exercise every day. Let's check that one. Every day, eso es para una rutina diaria. Y ahí ya me entra en el simple present. Right? Okay. okay. Let's see. Gloria Mena, I see your hand. Uh, I dance at night. I shop for, uh, I shop medicam, medicam. Medicine? I ate, I ate in fruit, fruit. In, in the supermarket. All right, excellent, that's correct. Solo la number two creo que quiere decir medicines, right? El pronunciation teacher, medicine. Uh -huh. Ah, to the doctor, vaya. ¿Quiere decir doctor? Eh, medicamentos. Ah, 
medicines. Medicines. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right, girls. Let's see. Do I have any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Excellent. Tell me, Karen. My son started with his friends yesterday. Mm -hmm. I shopped candies in the supermarket. That's correct. Very good. All right, girls. Si a medida avanzamos y alguien más quiere mostrarme sus sentences, bienvenidas, all right? Porque creo que también les toca a ustedes escribir las suyas en the platform. Let's see. Vamos a movernos a esta parte de aquí. Guiding structure for negative, right? Negative. What do we have in here? Let me see, lady. Can you please read the structure? Me lee la estructura. Subject. Um... Is this plus or is this more? Plus. Plus. Okay. Subject plus didn't plus verb in present plus complement. That's correct. There you go. Lo bonito de esta parte, the good thing of this negative, right? That you don't need to change anything else. You just have to add the didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the easy part, right? Esa es como la parte fácil de la negativa, que solo van a agregar el didn't, ¿por qué? My auxiliary does all the good job. El auxiliar hace todo el buen trabajo, right? Entonces, el otro el verb, el siguiente verbo is going to be in simple present. Se queda en presente, no lo voy a cambiar. Pueden hacerme preguntas si desean, right? Si hay algo que todavía no comprendemos bien, pregunten. Debería ser el, el, el positivo, solo el did. <laughs> exactly. El <laughs> It's true, sí, se van a ir dando cuenta que cómo cambian. Hay algunos que son irregular eh, y cambian la forma completamente, right? So there you go. Por ejemplo, ese que usted dijo, drink, drunk. <laughs> Cambia completamente. Eh, buy. De comprar, buy, cambia a bought. Totalmente diferente. So, yeah. Yo les recomiendo que saquen una listita con los verbs que vayan encontrando y con otros que ustedes puedan rebuscarse. Voy a ver, yo creo que sí se nos es permitido traer aquí una lista de verbs y se los voy a dar para que ustedes los lleven, all right Solo así funciona esto. <ríe> ya en past, solo funciona memorizándolos. All right, let's move on to the guiding examples, girls. We have three examples. Aquí ya no les voy a dar la pronunciation porque ya ustedes manejan esto. Let's see, Karen Heyman, can you please read number one? My sister didn't talk to my mother yesterday. Exactly, recuerdan? Está en affirmative, my sister talked to my mother yesterday. Y aquí, my sister didn't talk to my mother yesterday. Let me see. Maria Sigüenza, number two, please. I didn't, I didn't walk in the park this morning. Exactly, that's correct, thank you. And the last one is... Anita, please, number three. I didn't eat vegetable for lunch. That's correct. And there you go. All right. And you may, you might as well take notes if you want, because then you will practice. Aunque con esta, creo yo que es un poquito más eh, fácil, right? So let's move on. Me avisan si quieren que regrese esta slide. Si no, nos movemos a esta. Let's practice. Let's see, Isis Reyes, can you please read the instructions? Okay, work individually, uh, write a lead to sentences using the simple past tense in negative. Share your examples with the class. That's correct, excellent, thank you. All right, girls, just create two sentences in negative, all right? Uh, can you put the last? Yes. Thank you. Very good. 
the last slide. Very good. Last slide. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need help, everybody, let me know. And when you finish, you can let me know so that I can give you the participation, okay? Me, teacher. Excellent. Tell me, Gloria. I didn't drink, I didn't drink a Coca-Cola at night. Get back out. Because I, so I didn't a hip. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Somebody else? Me teacher. Excellent girl, tell me. My daughter didn't like to eat meat. The second, my son didn't watch the King Cole series. All right. Uh -huh. Excellent. Tiene otra emperatriz or only those? Only two. All right, excellent, very really good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Teacher. Let me see. Aha, uh -huh, Mary. I didn't watch a movie at night. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't speak another language. I didn't? Speak. Ah. Habla. Speak another language. Okay, that's correct, Mary. That's correct. Very good. Let's see, lady. You didn't sing last night. Mm -hmm. That's correct. He, he didn't sleep after lunch. Very good. Excellent. Yes, those are correct. Let's see, somebody else. All right, girls. Me, Excellent, Natalia. Tell me. Karen. Ah, Karen. Okay, let me see. Uh-huh, Karen. Um, my son didn't study with his friend yesterday. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I didn't shop candies in the supermarket. That's correct. There you go, Karen. Very good. Let's see, Natalia. Ahora sí, Natalia, es que veo que tiene la mano ahí. Let's see. Okay. Um, they didn't put attention in class. Mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't work in weekend. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Now you see, girls, como esta, esta parte de negativo, it's a little bit easier, right? Es un poco más factible de poder utilizar, de poder manejar. But don't worry, right? No se preocupen, esto va con el tiempo. No solo lo van a ver esto de los regular verbs, no solo lo van a ver en este nivel, 
imagino yo, sino que también lo van a ver en algún otro nivel por ahí, porque esto requiere tiempo, right? No es solo de paso, sino que esto se tiene que estar practicando constantemente. All right, girls. Do you have any questions? Preguntas? Comments before we leave? No. Okay, everybody, it has been a pleasure to be with you in this class and I will see you on Monday, all right? Si desean avanzar en la platform y durante estos días si necesitan ayuda, ya saben, pueden escribirme, okay? Bye. Thank Bye. you, miss. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye.